personally, but, but I met Dan in 2013 when I was asked to come on to be the production director for the Louisiana International Film Festival, the very first. And I've never run a film festival before, so to come to Louisiana, a state I'd never been to before, to have an opening night in New Orleans, a city I'd never been in before, to meet this guy named Jeff Dowd, the dude, for the first time, who I, of course I'd heard of, but never really spent time with. That was a trip. And in the middle of all of this, on top of the passion that Chesley has for this film festival, is Dan Ireland, the real driving force behind our success. It's more apparent now than ever, uh, because this year we had an extremely successful film festival. This was only our fourth year. And I can definitely attribute I can attribute so much of our success to Dan and uh, his dedication, his contributions, um, and just his, uh, his way, who he was, and how he was. It, uh, Dan uh, truly inspired greatness, and he brought out the best in us. So, skip back to 2013, and this is the first time I've ever run a film festival, logistically. Dan gave me the tools and the confidence to make it all happen amidst adversity and amidst creating a social movement. And so, that was the beginning for us. And Dan was not just along for the ride, Dan was the driver. Dan believed in everything we've been doing for the Louisiana International. <laughs> I can't even say it. For Lyft. Dan really believed in what we were doing for Lyft and, um, and that we were on the path to creating a world-class international destination film festival. But... Uh, who he was and that he was a talented director or that he had started the Seattle International Film Festival 38 years ago doesn't even uh, touch on the human, the human touch. <sighs> that uh, the human touch that Dan had with all of us particularly this, this key crew that started this film festival. And, and it's almost like a startup. It's like we were building something in Chesley's garage, her parents' garage, to be honest with you. And, and Dan was right there with us. And he challenged us. And he perfected us. And we rose to the occasion every year, relentlessly. And we pursued top-notch quality amidst a changing tide of a community that didn't quite know who we were yet. We engaged this audience, we engaged this, this state in, uh, in cinema, and Dan loved cinema. I can only refer to cinema when I think of Dan because movies doesn't do it justice. Film doesn't do it justice. Dan was a connoisseur of cinema. And that influence that he had on us it's just the influence he had on me. It is uh, forever ingrained in my heart for just this uh, deep appreciation for cinema. And it, it makes me a better filmmaker. It be <laughs> Get all the snot. Uh, it, it makes me a better production director for the Louisiana International Film Festival, the only film festival that I'll do. It makes me a better first assistant director. It makes me a better Directors Guild of America member. <sighs> Dan was my friend. Dan was my cheerleader. He was, he was there to remind me 
that I was doing a good job amidst adversity and challenge in, in, a, in a film festival that I had really no bearing on and he made me better, better person. <laughs> and he made us all better. He gave us the spirit, not only to be a better film festival, but to be a better human being. And I'm forever grateful for Dan Ireland. I am forever thankful and gracious for even his brief presence in my life. And we're gonna to continue to honor him. Personally and professionally, we're going to make tribute to him annually, if not daily, because what he taught us, what he brought to our lives, it changes us. And I just wanna wanna I wanna make Dan proud. Dan would be so proud of the fourth year of this film festival, the very year that he was not able to be with us. The year that when, when we talked, he was excited to be here and the year that um, he was ready to come. We spoke the night before he was supposed to fly out and then we didn't hear from him. And when we didn't hear from him on opening night, we knew something was wrong. And uh, just in such disbelief and shock, I'm not even, I mean, this hasn't even been a week yet. And I haven't gone back home to Los Angeles where I would be able to have coffee or late night dinner with Dan. And this breaks my heart. But um, I know Dan, Dan's spirit is always going to be with us. His energy and his spirit. It's, it's in all of us that he touched. So we will live on through Dan Ireland, who left us too soon. We're going to carry on his great work for not only a film festival, but the most creative and collaborative form of media, which is cinema, telling stories, touching people. And that's something for Dan to be really proud of. I think that's all I got. What, like 11 minutes?